Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, On this Monday of the seventh week of Easter, we are presented with readings that speak to the transformative power of the Holy Spirit in the peace that Christ offers us in the face of adversity. In the first reading from Acts 19 verses 1-8, we encounter Paul in Ephesus, where he finds disciples who had not yet received the Holy Spirit. They had only experienced the baptism of John, which was a baptism of repentance. Paul teaches them that John's baptism was in preparation for the coming of Jesus, the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. This encounter reminds us of the importance of being open to the fullness of God's grace. The Holy Spirit empowers us to speak boldly and prophesy, just as the disciples did when they received the Spirit. The responsorial psalm, Psalm 68, echoes this theme of empowerment. It is a song of triumph for God's majesty and care for the oppressed. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth, we proclaim. This psalm invites us to rejoice in God's presence and to remember that He is the defender of the widows and the father of orphans. In our own lives, we are called to be instruments of God's love and care for those who are marginalized. The Gospel from John 16 verses 29 to 33 offers us a profound assurance from Jesus Himself. He acknowledges that the time will come when His disciples will be scattered, and He will be left alone. Yet, he is not truly alone, for the Father is with him. Jesus shares this with us so that we may have peace in him. He acknowledges that in the world, we will face trouble, but he encourages us to take courage because he has conquered the world. My dear friends, these readings invite us to reflect on our own reception of the Holy Spirit. Have we fully embraced the Spirit in our lives? Are we allowing the Spirit to guide us in speaking the truth and standing up for justice? Moreover, are we finding our peace in Jesus, knowing that no matter the trials we face, He has overcome the world? Let us pray for the courage to live out our faith boldly, to care for those in need, and to find our peace in the victory of Christ. May the Holy Spirit fill our hearts and lead us on this journey of F.A. May God bless you all, and may you carry the peace of Christ in your hearts throughout this week and always. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we're all about sharing engaging content that you won't want to miss. So, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, share, and comment below to support us. Your interaction not only helps our channel grow but also tells us what content you love to see. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope you subscribe and join our community. God bless you always.